Hi, I'm Jack with the Bay Area Discovery Museum. Today we're going to do some creative chemistry and find out whether different materials float or sink. This activity can get a little messy, so make sure we're closed, you don't mind splashing on. Maybe do it outside or in a kitchen sink or in a bathtub, somewhere you've got some room to make a mess. I've got my bucket of water here, that's what I'm going to be testing in. And I've got some different materials that I had lying around. I've got some canola oil, a couple different kinds of soap, shaving cream. I've also got some food coloring if I want to change the color of the water. And some measuring spoons. This is how I'm going to add my liquids into my water. And I've also got a chart to keep track of my observations. A piece of paper and pencil will work just as well as this thing. So let's try it out. I'm going to test out this dish soap. And I am going to predict that this is going to float in the water. I'm going to write it down. And try it out. Let's see, let's measure out one teaspoon. This is a great thing for little ones to do. It's a great way to practice your motor skills and to get some basic math practice in. Squeeze it in. Let's see what happens. Whoa, that is not floating at all. See that, it's sinking all the way to the bottom. All right, dish soap sinks. Try it out on your own with all kinds of different materials. Let us know what happens. Thanks so much for watching and have fun. Bye.